saw you at the Imagen Awards a few yes, weeks ago. It's, we're, you know, it's, we can't be too far away from you. Yes. <laughs> so to start off, I'll, I'll take the first start on this. Um, this series is so has been building up and it's been such a good story. What is it like to be a part of a series like this where now we're getting into the meat and bones of this adventure and there's a lot of stakes now involved. What has it been like to be a part of it? And I'll, for everybody. I'll go. It was a journey. It was an absolute journey. I think in season one, we were really trying to figure out who these characters were, what kind of story we wanted to tell. We were all thrown into it uh, pretty quickly and we all had to kind of make it work immediately but there was a lot of figuring out and I think by now we've it's really sunk in we all know who we are we know our relationships we know the style of storytelling we want to achieve and we're all on the same page about that I really feel like we we hit our peak with this season I'm really excited about it yeah season yeah. three feels really grounded in an amazing way um like Rohan is saying we all we've established these relationships and these circumstances so deeply now that we can all, we can sort of just start figuring ourselves out even further and figuring out the world more. Um, and, you know, the stakes never change. The stakes are always life or death. They're always the highest they could possibly be. But I think it's really fascinating to watch as these people are more sure of who they are down in this 10,000 BC world. Yeah. And I also think like after doing two seasons, you, you're getting constant feedback from audiences and stuff. So you have a better understanding of where the show is placed out there because all you have really to associate with is what's going on behind the scenes. So having had two seasons of that feedback, I think coming into the third season, uh, we were able to relax a little bit. And I think you just see the actors enjoying themselves a little bit more, having a bit more fun with all the crazy stuff that's going on in season three. And the writers too, just throwing the book at us. Um, so that's been a really interesting part of the journey as, as we've all evolved as the show and our characters have evolved as well, which is, uh, yeah, makes for a fantastic last season. For all, for all three of you, uh, you know, the, uh, the transitions from season one to season three, all of your characters seem to have reformed themselves and reinvent themselves. Uh, tell us about the journey and how you enjoy that your characters act Actually, all, all three of your characters have, actually have changed quite significantly since the first season. I I, I was always shocked by the amount. <laughs> I was always shocked <laughs> by the amount that my character was changing because it started off. I I was very secretive. I was mysterious. I was very dark. And by season three, I, I'm smiling all the time. I'm, you know, I'm putting myself in positions where I'm talking to new people and I'm sort of proud of who I am and who I'm with and what I'm doing. And that was just such a shift. And it was so fun to realize that, I mean, I guess it's like humanity because people are constantly changing and to say, yes, this is all part of her. And if you put her in the right situation, this darkness will reveal itself again but ultimately to let her sort of just grow and shift and um find joy in things and and let herself be loved and love all of that was really just a pleasure to play with uh as we progressed yeah and I also yeah. had a lot of a lot of growth uh in particularly with his own identity trying to figure out who he is uh, what kind of person he wants to be in the world and the friendships that he's made down in the sinkhole um, really gave him a lot of stability with with his development. Um, less reliant on marijuana, I've noticed. He has gotten a, a real confidence, uh, throws a couple of punches here and there, and I think he's become a lot better person uh, for his experience. Yeah, I think all the characters, especially um, in season three, have kind of come to the realisation that possibly this is their new life and that their old life is is done with um and that offers obviously towards the end of season two as well quite a big opportunity for our characters to transform and as lily was saying you get put in a certain situation uh, depending on that situation you're either going to reveal 
your dark side or your light side. And um, season three, all our characters, I think, as we were saying to answer your first question, are a lot more grounded and at peace with who they are and the possibility of living in this new world and reinventing themselves. So yeah, season three really puts a, a full stop on that. When you're getting the script for a new season or a new episode and you're looking at it, how excited are you when you're reading the material and you're just like, you could picture in your mind, the fans just watching this and just getting excited over every episode because I, I, I just look at it over the last three se three seasons now that I've seen a couple from season three. It just has a good, good story. To pick up that script, what is that like for you and to be able to build that character around with a written word? It's awesome. You you. Yeah. <laughs> It's awesome to look at something and actually have no idea what it's going to look like because you have to use your imagination when reading the script because they're, I mean, the amount of animals that we interact with that are either real or completely CGI or the circumstances running into a new, a new location. And next thing you know, you have a completely new creature or a completely new scientific thing to contend with whatever it may be so reading it it's like sometimes you have to read twice just to make sure you understand what to keep up you know but um that's it's also really fun to to not know how anything's gonna turn out at all times yeah yeah so i think when you read most stuff that's grounded in reality you have a kind of a your parameters kind of exist within your human experience so like who who I am. so you can kind of access, you know, go oh, assess the situation, be like, oh yeah, this it would react like this. That makes sense. But when like a dinosaur is chasing you, it's kind of you have to recalibrate and go, well, dinosaurs never chase me or anyone I know. So I kind of need to work out how to realistically react to that situation. So there's little things like that that you're thrust into these otherworldly experiences, and you really have to, as Lily said, use your imagination to kind of go, okay, so my character is this, this, this. So how are they going to deal with like you know, a time machine, if, if that makes sense, you know. Josh, I, oh, go ahead. I would just answer the question. I am a massive fanboy about this kind of genre, action, adventure, sci-fi. Lost was one of my favorite shows growing up, and uh, I was just really attracted to the world building and the lore and the storytelling. So I'm going through my script over and over, just trying to figure out all the clues and pieces and just like an audience member would, you know, really comb through everything and 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 find all the real details in there. That's what really attracted me to these scripts. Um, I loved it. I loved it. Josh, Lily, you know, um, season two had the big re reveal with uh, Veronica's uh, pregnancy. Uh, tell tell us about the uh, the love between uh, Lucas and Veronica, and how could it. Is it is ten thousand BC the best place to raise a child? And then and then I could throw a question to Rowan. Would uh would Scott make a good godfather after all? <laughs> um, I'll let you take the lead on this one, Lily. <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, no, no, I wouldn't raise a kid in ten thousand BC if I had the option not to. Um, which is, I think, a huge motivating factor. I think it creates a really good tension between them simply because they have different reasons for wanting to stay and wanting to go. And I think ultimately you have to look at health or survival. And we're always thinking about survival, but now it's a different thing to consider. Um, the love between them, I think, allows them to have those kinds of conversations. And it's it was sort of a relief once uh, Veronica and Lucas fall in love because she had been so isolated before um, purposefully because she didn't trust herself around anyone. And then for them to create this relationship where they really trust each other and understand each other um, and all that they've gone through and that the fact that they've been horrible people in their eyes, but they can shift themselves and sort of lean on each other to get through everything. It was really awesome to see. Mm. Yeah, it was a good opportunity for two like darker characters um, to actually have a little bit of light in their lives and a little bit of hope. Um, Just goof around all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Be a little bit more silly and not so angry and like aggressive, <laughs> at least from my end. <laughs> Same. <laughs>